All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Dearly beloved, we've come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise to hear his holy word and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation and so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him. Let us kneel in silence, with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins. We may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. First to God, who can possess the least of goodness with you, and from my word in me, my holy of done, and my holy of just undone. We have not loved you as our whole heart. We have not loved you as neighbors as ourselves. We are too sorry to come to him. For the sake of your son Jesus Christ, the rich generous and forgive us, that we may delight in real and all the good ways. To your glory and name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Lord, your grace. Lord, to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout out the joy of the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and praise a loud shout with the hymn of songs. The Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In the hands of the cabinets of the earth, the heights of the hills is his also. The sea is his, for he made it. In his hands and laws of the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. Kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today we may hearken to his voice. Psalm 51, page 656. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Your great compassion blot out my offenses. Wash me clean and pure from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, my sins that were before me. Against only you have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. And so you are justified when you speak, and I pardon in your judgment. Indeed, I have wicked from my birth, a sinner from my mother's womb. For behold, you will the truth be condemn me, and you will make me understand wisdom secretly. Purge me from my sin, and I shall be poor. Wash me, and I shall be clean indeed. Make me hear the joy of gladness, and the body be full of the name of rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and get not the Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy to save my health again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. I shall teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. O God of my salvation, open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Have you desired it that we have offered sacrifice, that you take no delight in burnt offerings? The sacrifice of God is a holy altar, and you will only contrite heart, O God, that you will not despise. Be favorable and gracious as I am, and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with your appointed sacrifices. There are offerings and oblations, but you shall never offer no oaths upon your altar. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. You will be in the right, Lord, when I lay charges against you, but let me put my case to you. Why does the way of the guilty prosper? Why do all who are treacherous thrive? You plant them and they take root. They grow and bring forth fruit. You are near in their mouths, yet far from their hearts. But you, O oh Lord, know me. You see me and test me. My heart is with you. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and set them apart for the day of slaughter. How long will the land mourn and the grass of every field wither? For the wickedness of those who live in it, the animals and the birds are swept away because people said, he's blind to our ways. If you have raced with foot runners and they have wearied you, how will you compete with horses? And if in a safe land you fall down, how will you fare in the thickets of the Jordan? For even your kinfolk and your own family, even they have dealt treacherously with you. They are in full cry after you. Do not believe them, though they speak friendly words to you. I have forsaken my house. I have abandoned my heritage. I have given the beloved of my heart into the hands of her enemies. My heritage has become to me like a lion in the forest. She has lifted up her voice against me. Therefore, I hate her. Is the hyena grady for my heritage and my command? Are the birds of prey all around her? Go assemble all the wild animals. Bring them to devour her. Many shepherds have destroyed my vineyard. They have trampled down my portion. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it a desolation. Desolate, it mourns to me. The whole land is made desolate, but no one lays it to heart. Upon all the bare heights in the desert, spoilers have come. For the sword of the Lord devours from one end of the land to the other. No one shall be safe. They have sown wheat and have reaped thorns. They have tired themselves out, but profit nothing. They shall be ashamed of their harvest because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Thus says the Lord concerning all my evil neighbors who touch the heritage that I have given my people Israel to inherit. I'm about to pluck them up from the land, and I will pluck up the house of Judah from among them. And after I've plucked them up, I will again have compassion on them, and I will bring them again to their heritage and to their land, every one of them. And then, if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name, as the Lord lives, as they taught my people to swear by Baal, then they shall be built up in the midst of my people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Canticle 10. Surely... It is God who saves you. I will trust in you and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense. He will be my Savior. Therefore, you shall draw the water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord, all my name. Make his deeds known among the peoples, so that they remember his name as a soul. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud in heaven, says I am. Bring out your joy. The great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading from the Gospel according to John. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he'd raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! 
Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it. As it is written, do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him and had been done to him. So the crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to testify. It was also because they heard that he had performed this sign that the crowd went to meet him. The Pharisees then said to one another, You see, you can do nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Canticle 19. O ruler of the universe, O God, by every piece of love that you have done, surpasses the human understanding. You have waged the way of righteousness and truth, and the king of all ages. You have been proud to do your honors, Lord, and sing the praises of your name. For you are not the only one. All nations will come to hear God now before you, because of your just and holy works you have been revealed. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord. He was conceived out of the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended from the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sin, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Thanks for that. Our Father, who art in heaven, I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy eyes are kingdom, and power, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Trust your mercy, O Lord. Grace is your salvation. For your ministers of righteousness, that your people may be filled. Give me peace, O Lord, in all the world. For all of you who can be with us, I bless you. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving the heaven among our nations. Not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. You are the hope of the world of the world. Free us from the hearts of God. And sustain us in the world of the spirit. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy at the first and suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who stretched out your arms of love like the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace, so clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray for your church that she would be one holy, Catholic, and apostolic. We pray especially for the Anglican Communion. During this Holy Week, we pray that your church would be revived and renewed, return in true repentance, and truly uh, become witnesses of the death and resurrection of Jesus. Today, we lift up to you the providence of the Episcopal Church of South Sudan, the Diocese of South Brenzori in Uganda, the Diocese of Sabah in Southeast Asia. We pray for the Diocese of West Tennessee. We lift up Calvary Church in Memphis, St. Mary's in Dyersburg, and St. Thomas the Apostle in Humboldt. We 
Pray for the lay and clergy leaders of our parish missions, parishes and missions. We give to you our outreach partners, especially Collierville Education Foundation, Collierville Food Pantry, and the Collierville Literacy Council. Pray for renewal of St. Andrews, that you would grow us in faith, hope, and love. Consecrate us in prayer, work, and study. Bless those who come here in need. Bless those who are sick and suffering. Bless our troubled families. Bless the sick and suffering, our healing ministry. Make us true tools to glorify you in St. Andrews. We pray especially that this Holy Week uh, you would draw people here and revive and renew us. And we pray now for your needs and concerns. General Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are for the Lord's servants who sing no offense. For our goodness and our very kindness, give us the law in your domain. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this heart. But above all, your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For we need the grace and the hope of the Lord. We pray to you in the name of the Lord. And not only with our lips, but with our eyes, and giving up ourselves to your service, and walking before you, holy and silent since all our days. In Jesus Christ our Lord, in whom we believe in the Holy Spirit, we honor and glory throughout our all things. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit.